In this video, I want to do a little paper towel shootout, okay? This all started when I was detailing the engine compartment in this 560 SEC, and over the years I've used countless of these blue shop towels, white paper towels, and you know the routine. You end up wiping on them, and if you get them wet with any kind of chemical, they just fall apart. And particularly things like brake cleaner or lacquer thinner, they really fall apart fast. So recently I've been looking at other options for cleaning cloths when detailing an engine, when repairing an engine, and when detailing an engine compartment. The first criteria is I really wanted something that was lint free. You know, when you're wiping like down in here in the throttle body and you're cleaning off other critical parts when you have parts disassembled, you don't want lint on the paper towel. So the white paper towels have always been just for cleaning up grease and grime because <laughs> they're cheap, okay? <laughs> I like to be cheap. Uh, the blue paper towels hold up a little bit better. Now you have these uh, white ones. They're called white rags by Toolbox. But I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing some testing. I've purchased three or four different types of what you call space age or modern technology paper towels. And that's what we're going to demonstrate here. We're going to kind of take these all through the test and then I'm going to show you what I came up with and what towel I now prefer. For this initial test, I'm just going to use water with a little bit of dishwashing liquid in. I'm not even going to bring in the harsh chemicals like this brake cleaner here. Maybe later. But for right now, I think we can fully see what these paper towels can hold up to with just water. A little bit of soap. Let's start out with the white ones. Now, of course, if you're cleaning, you know, and wiping things off, but as soon as they get wet, and I'm going to hold this in here for about 15 seconds. All right. Now, there it is. Now, let's just lightly pull on it. You can see it just immediately tears and if you let this sit for let's say another two minutes it even gets worse okay let's try a piece of the blue shop towel next just soak it in here for 10 to 15 seconds Now, if you've used these blue shop towels, you know they tend to be a little bit stronger than the uh, kitchen white paper towels. But really, once they get wet, they're not much better. What, and that's what I found is these are okay as long as you don't get them too damp with either water, soap, purple power, or some other chemical. But... Once you get them damp with something, these start tearing just as badly as those white kitchen paper towels. Okay, the next one is I'm going to pull out one of these toolbox white rags. The consistency of these feels a little bit like the blue shop towel, but uh, they're, they're a little bit rougher. So let's soak this one up, see what happens. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, wow. This is uh, even weaker than the blue shop towel. Once again, I'm not saying these are bad paper towels in themselves. They just don't hold up to rigorous engine and engine compartment detailing and cleaning automotive parts. They're probably fine for cleaning glass, you know, wiping down other things. They, they're not good for plastics because most of these paper towels will scratch plastics. Let's bring in the one I've been using recently. And when you look at this, it looks like a paper towel. It's made by DuPont, and they are not cheap. Remember earlier I said I like to be cheap, but at some point we've all learned that being cheap isn't always a good idea, okay? So let's soak this one up. While that's soaking, I should tell you one thing I like about this. It's really designed to 
clean aircraft windshields and it won't scratch plastic. So if you have glasses or other plastic face shields around the shop, these are ideal to do that type of cleaning with. All right, let's pull this out. It's pretty wet. Now let's pull on it. Now I'm not saying that you can't tear this. If I've really ripped hard, but just working it back and forth like this and pulling on it, notice that it, it's not tearing. It has a high absorption rate and it actually has pretty good squeezability. So if you're doing a lot of cleaning where you've got a lot of moisture, you can wring these things out and reuse them. But I tell you, even after letting this thing sit for a while, look at that. It doesn't want to tear. So <laughs> you can see I found a new friend here in the shop. In fact, I'm just going to spend the money and get a number of these shop towels. You know, I'll still use these for cleaning up oil spots and grease spots on the floor and things like that. But basically for any serious cleaning now, I'm gonna go with these cloths right here because they are amazing, literally amazing. So I'll put a link in the show more of the description if you wanna purchase some of these where you can buy them. And I think you'll be just as impressed with these as I have been. As a parting shot, let's see how well this new towel holds up when applying brake cleaner to it. Let's really soak it up with a brake cleaner. And then we're gonna get down in here and clean this out thoroughly. I'll drag it around down in here, try to actually tear it on a couple of sharp edges. Now, if you were to use the blue shop towel for this, I guarantee you'd be leaving some pieces of blue shop towel down in this intake. All right, I'm gonna try to yank it out of here. Look at that. Still in one piece. Isn't that amazing? And even with the brake cleaner, you know, it still doesn't want to tear. So now you understand. These are my favorite towels of the year.